Hey everyone and welcome to the tech channel Today we have this project It's a remote control tank Well, laser tank Because it has this laser here Or name it as you want So, in this project combine few modules We have different things here And here's a little tree that represents the things I did before And related to the project So there's project, it's controlled by a PS2 wireless controller I've already interfaced it with Arduino and sent some data Then the chassis has two DC motors So we need a dual H bridge to control it And I'm using for this L298N module We already seen how to control speed and directions Then there's the laser, it's very really simple, just two wires and for the camera curl, because that's how it's uh, called it's actually for holding FPV cameras but you can use it for whatever you want I already did a tutorial on how to control it using the joystick actually two versions on how to control it we will not see one of them today and for that project I did a tutorial about controlling servos with Arduino and interfacing a joystick or thumbstick as you want to call it with the Arduino and why I decided this because it just make it works easy for you and also I recommend you to do the same things because it will be simple and if you have any problems or issues you can uh, solve them quickly and you won't waste uh, any time so as I said we have different things PS2 controllers to control this uh, whole tank and the cradle over here and it uses this uh, wireless controller and I'm using only this uh, SICK and this SICK and the uh, uh, bottom X you're gonna see later in the code the uh, things they do and then there's this uh, receiver for this uh, PS2 controller it's wired with the Arduino then because this uh, chassis has like uh, two DC motors so I had to uh, to use my uh, GRH bridge and then we have this camera cradle it uses two servo motors and then there's this laser over here stuck just here so we're gonna see these things and this thing is powered by a battery a lithium battery 7.4 battery it uh, powers the module here over here 
and I take the 5 volt from here to power my Arduino and the rest of the system so here I remove this wire it's for power I didn't use the switch here I'm just removing the, the power from the battery directly so I just place this uh, tank over a uh, support over here so it won't move and here I show you the functions it has so here when I press it goes forward and it's not always full speed it depends on how you press this you can listen same things for backward and for turning left or right I stop uh, one track and I move the other and also and also sorry it depends on the speed uh, and the speed also it's controlled by how you press the joystick or how you move it sorry the servo is a grizzly I don't know why the servo always do it when I use it and as I said this is the technique for uh, turning you just stop one track and turn the other you can use the other method which can turn like one in a way and the other in the other way but uh, when I tried it on this uh, tank it started like uh, jumping and it's not uh, good I like this one I stop one and I turn the other then for the cradle I use this stick to turn or turn here this is one of the versions I did when I did the tutorial about the, this cradle it's for it's it not following the, the my thumb stick was just where it goes where you're pointing if it's down it goes down if it's up it goes up and then there is the other uh, sorry I stopped this and there's the other version when this uh, whole cradle follows your stick like if you turn it here it goes all the way here and if you go if it the uh, stick goes back here the, the whole thing goes back without you turning it this one turns and stop in the position you left it then I have this X and the X button uses the laser pointer activate the laser pointer and also it vibrates the joystick here vibrates so those are the functioning of this uh, robot tank and we're gonna see the code right now so here's our code it's very simple and clear if you want to use it in your uh, project if you want to uh, adapt it remove something or add something else or replace something so here we have only two libraries ps2x library it's for the controller and the receiver and here we have the servo library and here i declared my two servos and i consider sorry the servo one as the base servo then we declare our controller here then for this uh, variables error type vibrate is for the controller also it knows if there's an error or the type of the controller you are using and then we have this a and b you're gonna see them later so here i have the declaration for my motor which is uh, sorry for the dual h bridge to control the motor so i'm using an l298n and we have four inputs for the control and then two inputs for like the controlling the speed so here my motor a two four and three and motor b six seven and five it depends on your motor and pins you are using so here in this setup i'm using the serial begin and you're gonna see some uh, serial print just to help you to uh, detect any problem or like uh, show a value or something to know what you are dealing with and here we declare our uh, ps2 and the pins associated with it i'm using 13 11 8 and 12 and then we read the, tab the type we should read it to know what we are dealing with and here we declare our pin modes on the pin modes so here our <coughs> sorry 
all of them are for the motors like the, all these are for the motor and then we have this a0 and a1 so here for the a0 and a1 uh, because I ran out of uh, pins while using the uh, this uh, project so here these pins are for the laser so the laser uses ground and 5 volt so here I put this A0 to low which is uh, like a ground and I connected the ground of the laser here and then I controlled this A1 as an uh, output this A1 is now like uh, a digital output and that's it because I ran out of digital input, so uh, uh, output. Sorry, so I'm using uh, analog ones. And here I connected my servos. So servo one is uh, connected to nine, and the other one to ten. And here, what I do in the code. So let's separate these things. Here I'm uh, reading the position, the current position of the two servos. I'm already, uh, I'm uh, always reading it. So my when I move the stick. To move the cradle it treats this uh, function and it moves depending on them and we're gonna see them uh, later here so here it concerns the laser and we read the if there's a, if the X button is pressed we vibrate the analog sorry we vibrate the controller and then there is a an, the here we digital write a1 as vibrate so here in the in the a1 we write the value of vibrate if it's high or if it's low and this stop is always uh, running it is a stop function for the for the motor we're gonna see it here function stop this is one it turns off all the motors for the for the tank it stops them with the uh, speed zero and as long if I don't press any button it just stops so here I have my forward sequence so here how I read the value of my analog uh, stick is this one ps2x analog and the ly for the left and for the like the y axis and this value it depends on where the stick is uh, based it changes from uh, 0 to 255 and this value actually it was uh, reversed it, like uh, the bottom was uh, 55 and the up was uh, 0 so here I did this uh, math a little bit of math 255 minus this and I end up with a value superior to, to this so if the value is superior to 130 which is like I'm pushing the stick on uh, f uh, on up it just goes forward and here for just for to help me to see if there's a problem on uh, receiving or something else I write this uh, forward on the serial monitor and here we have our forward sequence let's see forward sequence this is the forward sequence so here um, I did this uh, map just to change this value 255 minus uh, this value we read over here this value that we read over here I'm changing it like from uh, 0 to 255 this is the value input here it goes from 130 to 255 but here I bring it back to 0 to 255 and this one like this is how we mo we control our speed it's from 0 to 255 and this value which is now here it's written on as a analog right here as a pwm signal what to give the tank its speed and here i have like i'm controlling the direction so here i'm using low high high low those are my functions to move it forward depends on your uh, wiring you have to try them to make like a uh, low here or high here or uh, the inverse it depends on your wiring so here I write the same uh, like speed on both of them so this is the like the important thing here to so just to make the, the speed like proportional to your uh, how you press the thumb thumb stick sorry same thing goes for the backward just like this here are inverted 
the high are now low and the low are now high you notice since we saw them in the tutorial about the dual H bridge and here for the right and for the left actually also the same things always measure your uh, input and uh, like uh, recalibrate it like it goes from 120 to 0 now it goes from 0 to 255 just to go right here I forgot actually to to do it I knew something was wrong actually I should have here the F3 and F3 here but here it's low you can leave the zero no problem as I did here but here I forgot uh, like it was already I spotted something wrong but I didn't check the code so those are the same things pretty much all the same thing just control the direction and here as I said you can change like uh, for me that worked for me it's just I stop one track and I use the other and for you you can turn one inside and one in the other side no problem so those are the functions for the motors here as I said stop then stop is always running in the code stop is always running as long as you don't press anything stop is uh, running and if you press like push your analog six on uh, one of the sides it just uh, move to this side and this is for the cradle it's pretty much the same thing here those are just uh, serial prints to know the value so here we read also the value of the seek which is important you can check the previous tutorial about interfacing this uh, controller with arduino and you should get these values so here i'm just getting the value if this is like pointing uh, upward or uh, downward and here i start a sequence as i said this a we said the uh, a moment ago that we're gonna see it we read the servo position so we know the servo position is a and this a become a minus one so it goes like here what we're gonna write it's not the current uh, servo position but the current servo position minus one like we go in a way or we increment or we decrement it depends on which way we are pointing so those are the things that are important and here this one define the, spe the speed of turning you can make it 10 or 100 or whatever you want but just to make it uh, like easy and simple I used one you can use whatever value you want and we write that value A and then the code loops back and reads the same things and it keep decrementing or incrementing and in my previous tutorial about the camera cradle I used another function which I uh, talked about it uh, just a moment ago where the cradle follows your uh, thumb stick if you go like uh, uh, left it goes left if you go right it goes uh, right and if you go back to the neutral position it's go back also it's like a real time reading of the position and moving but I like this version you can use whatever you want same thing for the cradle up and cradle down so it is one for the base one right and left and this one for the up and down so this is pretty much the code nothing difficult and as always the wiring will be in the link right below wiring and code and if you have any problem contact me and for the tutorials I talk about them you're gonna find the link also below I hope you like it and don't forget to subscribe and like and see you next time <laughs>